Head over to ubuntu.com and navigate to download. Then click Ubuntu Server. Select option 2, Manual Server Installation, followed by Download Ubuntu Server, to get the ISO file. Back in Proxmox, click the drive named Local in the server view. In the menu to the right, click ISO Images, then Upload. In the Upload menu, click Select File to open a file browser. Navigate to where the ISO file is stored and open it, then hit Upload in Proxmox. You are now ready to configure the VM. Click Create VM in the upper right corner of Proxmox. If you have multiple Proxmox nodes in a cluster, make sure you have selected the right node. Type in a name for your VM and move on. Select the ISO you wish to install, then move past system over to disks. Enter the size of the drive in gigabytes, then select where you want it to be located. Give your VM a few cores to work with. You can allocate all of them if you wish, but you might run into issues doing this. How much memory you should give a VM depends on what you will use it for, and how much you have in the machine. The amount can easily be changed later. Ballooning makes it so you can allocate more memory to virtual machines than you have. This brings with it a high probability of crashes if you are not careful. Skip over network to the summary screen. If you are happy with the configuration, click finish. The virtual machine will show up in the server view when created. Open a console window to start the installation. Click enter to select the language you want it to install with. Both the old and the new installer works great, so it's the same which one you pick. Select the layout and the variant of your keyboard. For type, just keep the default. If you will be connecting to the virtual machine, give it a static IP. Navigate to and click the network card, then edit IPv4. Switch from automatic to manual. Type in the IP address of your network, followed by a slash and the number of bits in the net mask. Enter the IP address you want your VM to have. For gateway and name server, just add the IP address of your router. Click Save, Done and Continue until you reach Profile Setup. Enter a name, server name, username and password for your server. Make sure to tick the box next to install OpenSSH server so you can connect to it later. If you see any featured services you might like, tick the box next to it. Clicking Done will start writing Ubuntu to the drive. When the installation is done, you will be prompted to reboot the system. Ubuntu will be unable to unmount the ISO file. Proxmox will automatically change the boot order, so just ignore it and press enter. After the system has rebooted, you are able to log in with the username and password you created during the installation. If you want to connect directly with the terminal program, enter SSH, the username you created, followed by an at and the IP address of your server. As long as you are able to log in, the server is fully operational. If you are unsure about what to use it for, I have added a few tips on the website linked in the description.